The Shop family dairy battling contaminated groundwater adjacent to Cannon Air Force Base has filed a complaint against the United States, the U.S. Department of Defense, and the U.S. Air Force. A couple storm systems will impact New Mexico through the remainder of the holiday week, bringing rounds of rain, snow, sleet, and freezing rain. Widespread precipitation will begin across southern New Mexico this afternoon, starting as mostly snow. Snow will mix with sleet across much of the eastern plains and highlands overnight and may turn over to freezing rain early Thanksgiving morning. Rebecca Lee, a Portales native, is scheduled to take part in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade on Thursday in New York City. New Mexico Homeland Security and Emergency Management Secretary Jackie Lindsay has resigned effective immediately. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham's office announced Lindsay's resignation Tuesday, saying she informed the governor that she wanted to focus on her family and health. Lindsay said she made the decision after careful consideration and that she was honored to have served New Mexicans over the last year. County officials in New Mexico have voted to close the Chavez County Juvenile Detention Center after making transfer agreements with nearby counties. The Roswell Daily Record reported Thursday that Chavez County Board of Commissioners voted unanimously to close the detention center December 29th. County officials say they signed an agreement with Curry County on November 5th to allow the transfer of youth offenders, saving more than $1 million a year. Officials say Chavez County would still have $219,000 in expenses to juvenile detentions since they still would pay facilities by day to hold their county youth. The Clovis High School Air Force Junior ROTC has a goal to lay 3,500 wreaths on the graves of local veterans this December in an effort to assist the Gold Star Mothers with their Wreaths Across America campaign. Over the weekend, cadets conducted a fundraiser and made enough money to purchase 300 additional wreaths sponsorship, bringing the total to 1,000. With their annual wreath laying ceremony less than a month away, the students are far from reaching their goal and are seeking sponsors from the community. From the Rooney Moon Broadcasting Local News Center, I'm Kelsey Lorenz with your news as it happens. A number of buildings and departments will be closed tomorrow due to the Thanksgiving holiday. Among those, Clovis and Portales City Halls will be closed. Tucum Carey Police Officer Daniel Lopez received a wreath of valor, the highest award the department can give for his actions in preventing a suicide November 6th that involved a risk to Lopez's safety. A judge ruled on Tuesday that the man described as a self-admitted Nazi cannot get out of the Lubbock County Detention Center before he goes to trial. Aiden Bruce Umbog was arrested on November 4th after a routine traffic stop in post. Last week, his attorney filed a court document asking that he be released from custody while the criminal case is pending. He was charged with possession of a firearm by an unlawful user of a controlled substance. Prosecutors said he was in possession of marijuana and THC oil, and he has been described by official records as a recovering heroin addict. New Mexico will be investing more money in state-based businesses and startup companies as it attempts to spur development and diversify the economy. 